primary care is uniquely positioned to bend the cost curve in ways that, that other organizations just can't. Um, if we look at other industries that have been largely disrupted, for example, mainframe computing that was disrupted by personal computers, disrupted then by iPads and then later by smartphones, almost always it's a newcomer that's required to revitalize the uh, industry rather than an incumbent. In the healthcare industry, the equivalent of the mainframe computer is the large hospital system. They're the dominant marker player. They appear to hold all the cards, but they actually hold no cards on the future. Their systems are extremely expensive and don't produce the best outcomes, particularly when we compare ourselves to other nations in the world. Other nations have found that by front-loading primary care, they were able to bend the healthcare cost curve. Primary care offers the opportunity to keep people out of the emergency rooms and to prevent uh, unnecessary readmissions, which are expensive and costly. And so primary care practices or organizations that appeal to consumers with extended hours or by offering an expanded uh, ancillary services such as uh, IV therapy or the ability to do essentially everything an urgent care can, we'll find that many of the uh, ER patients starts coming to their doors instead. And in the private practice offices, what will happen is the payer will say, gee, that experience only cost me $300 as opposed to $3,000 in an emergency room. Or they'll also note that the whole visit took only 90 minutes as opposed to five hours. And so as primary care positions itself in the marketplace to take advantage of being a disruptor, we will see cost shifting from hospital. Primary care costs will go up and the pharmacy costs will go up as more of our patients become compliant, but hospital costs will come down and that's what will bend the cost curve in 2014.